Hello, Midlife RC followers on both Google Plus and YouTube. I'm going to do a quick video of the unboxing of my new toy, Red, we'll call them, Trailfinder 2. Um, it's my second one. The first one was the kit. Uh, I had a blast building that last winter and still tinkering with it. But I wanted one that I could maybe compete with or not be so afraid to ding up. So I went with a ready-to-run version. And the ready-to-run version is in this box. Still haven't opened it yet. Kept my promise. That's the uh, box. The kit comes in several layers of goodies packed between um, cellophane and styrofoam. They have it laid out really, really well. I don't know what we're going to find in here. They, uh, I got this from RPP Hobby out on the west coast they had uh to me a good price the price was competitive with just about everybody tower uh you name it even rc four wheel drives website however they had a coupon and i loves me a coupon i am going to break the seal right now one of my one of my boys knives from Cub Scouts. We'll see what we get here in a minute. I don't have the fancy stand for holding my phone or the proper lighting. So we get what we get. Breaking the seal from RPP Hobby. Maybe. All right, as usual, first thing, receipt. You guys don't need my address, not yet. I have lots of these as I've placed lots of orders from RPP Hobby, RPP Hobby.com. They carry a great selection of scale kits, accessories, actually just a good, a good lineup of RC stuff. Well, you can already see the difference in packaging. There we go. I'm going to probably have to flip this over for a minute. Hey, you guys stare at Blue's box for a minute. Nope. Pack this baby tight. I'm going to put down the phone for a minute. Give me one second. And I'm back. I am back. I hope I can figure out how to edit these two videos together as uh, I put the phone down and it shut off. So here's the box for the ready to run. The box for the kit. The box for the ready to run. This is the bottom of the ready to run box. Show all your goodies, tells you what it includes. Got everything with it. That's why I went with this one. The biggest reason I went with this one though is right here. Single speed transmission. My other one's got the two-speed transmission, which requires the extra servo for shifting. And for whatever reason, I cannot get my radio to remember what to do with that channel. I have to program it every time. It's a real pain in the dupa. So, I figured for 50 bucks less, I got all this. For another 50 bucks, you get the two-speed transmission and build it yourself. Some weird math there, but I guess it works. And what do we got here? We got side of the box artwork. Everybody likes to look at. Shows the inside of your axles. So this is hop up parts, my bad. Um, I find the shocks that come with it are actually pretty good. I overdid it with the shocks on my other one and ended up putting the stock ones back on the front. Super soft leaf springs. Get some fender flares for it. This is happening. Not sure what I'm doing with wheels and tires yet, although Chris Herb has posted some cool stuff. So I may be looking into what he did. Um, what else we got for box artwork? Uh, everybody likes to look at the artwork. There we go, just like the websites. Ready to hit the trails. It's only ready after you charge it. 
And so my phone rang in the middle of doing that. Hope I can edit that together. Here's the side artwork. Oh, the front of the box, I'm sorry, my bad. Boy, it looks so much... Uh, more toyish <laughs> when you get it ready to run. Um, tells you what it's got. It's got the 4x4, the transmission, the beadlock wheels, the radio. And inside is what I'm going to call red. Now, I did not undo this seal. My dog fur already. That seal just popped itself open. So, he must be trying to get out, as Cappy was telling me. I've been keeping him suffocated for a week. So, let's see what happens when I slide this baby out of here. I don't want to destroy the boxes. For some reason, I like to keep the boxes. My wife, uh, I'm not a fan of me collecting boxes at all. But it happens. Let's see if I can get this bad boy out of here. Stay with me. You guys still there? Yeah, you're still there. Well, you're definitely not shoplifting this bad boy. All locked up with security. All right, here is red. Red is shiny, red has no scratches. That's gonna change. It's a lot shinier than I thought, and I wasn't sure that they were gonna have the trim all painted up. That's nice. And already the rubber mirrors. That's beautiful because the first thing that breaks on these is the hard plastic mirrors. That's a bonus upgrade right there, in my opinion. I'm not sure what makes this different than this. They say the body's different. I think so far the only thing I've noticed is back in the day, Toyota used to put hooks under the bed rails. And this looks like there's a spot for them. Whereas this one was just the smooth bed rails. So I think that's to me, the only change they've done to the body. Everything else seems to look the same. Uh, see, one thing they could do better is they could paint some lenses. I'll be taking care of that, though. Oh, box is in the way. Well, let's jump to the bag. In the bag, what do we got? The big front bumper that I'm not a fan of. It's effective, it's nice. It's very flimsy. And uh, my other truck, I ended up cutting off here and here. And I torched this and bent it straight up like a regular bull bar. Came out pretty good. I don't think I'm doing that with this one, though. I think this one's going to get a, a new bumper for the winch mount. We got uh, battery hold downs. We got extra servo pieces. We got... Extra grub screws. These look like the ones that go through the drive shafts. And let's see what else we got. We got the bumper I said. See, this is so flimsy. I mean, I guess if you're gonna bang into things, it'll keep you off of them, but it is what it is. Yep, here's the bed hooks I was talking about. So these little guys you glue on or whatever to those holes under the bed, this sim. Simulate the real ones. Not sure I'll be using them. I see those things littered all over the woods. Um, and this must be the book. Everybody loves the book. Let's see what the book says. Ta -da. It's like a little treasure map. Guess that's to get you out playing. Inside the book, we got good detail. Very good detail. Now, there's the other thing that's got to be replaced in these right away is RC four wheel drive has yet to give you steel shafts. They give you steel ends, but right, sorry, right here, that baby twists right apart. Garbage. So you got to sink a couple of bucks into getting some full metal ones. Um, some more artwork, tell you how to put it together. Change things. What's nice is I built the other kit, so this to me is 
Um, I don't really need it, but it's nice reference, easy to get to. Um, they almost treat it like you are putting it together. And they got their warnings and electronic goodness. There it is. I didn't realize a battery was part of it, but I guess ready to run means you need a battery, right? You have to figure all this out later. Don't really have a whole lot of time today for it, but. And of course, the body is screwed down with three hex or button caps on the cab on either side. And then you got the body clips there. Hold the bed down. That'll get trimmed after the lift kit goes in because we need to have the right height. So there it is. I unboxed it. I'm not good at this unboxing business. Um, I think the next video will be red and blue side by side. See what they look like together. Um, that's got to go to my connector. All my other stuff is Traxxas. So there. Cappy, you'll be happy to know it breathes. I'm taking it out. Even the controllers. This thing is crammed in here. So the next video will be, I'll have the stuff all laid out. And then compare it with my other one. So uh, I've never asked this, but if, uh, if you liked it, uh, like, subscribe, smash that thumb button. And... Uh, I'll talk to you guys on the Google Plus. Thank you for watching.